first of all, what is a champion's mindset and why do you think it's so important? Uh, what is a champion's mindset? I think a champion's mindset is the type of mindset that is able to rise above adversity. Basically, that's what it boils down to, right? Because we are always going to encounter adversity. It's how we handle that adversity that really makes the difference. That's what really defines a champion versus an average person, right? And you can be a champion at anything. You can be a champion in communication. You can be a champion at parenting. You can be a champion at mowing the lawn. You can be a champion at anything you decide to be a champion at, but you have to decide, right? And so when we have, um, when we're looking at what a champion mindset is, it's really getting the tools and the skills that take you above and beyond. What happens for most of us, which is why, you know, people set New Year's resolutions and by January 15th, 92% of people fail at that. The same with uh, goals. Most people don't set goals. Um, About 70% of the 80% of people that actually set a goal fail, right? That's, that's, That's a massive number. What is going on? Why is this number so high? It's because we overlook a lot of the really simple things that it requires to have a champion mindset. What people want to create is an above average lifestyle or an above average experience or above average success. But a lot of people are not willing to do the above average things that it takes to have that success. So, and that's simple things like, Maybe we're always late, right? We want an above average life, but we're not willing to do the work to be on time for the things that are important to us. And it's those little dotting of the I's and crossing the T's that make all the difference. And that's why it's important. You know, the champion mindset is important because it sets you up to have the life that you desire, right? I think there's a quote by Les Brown and it says, if you don't program your life, life will program for you right? It's something like that, which is basically saying, if you don't become the master of your life and your mind, then your environment is going to determine for you your experience. But we always have the choice. Even if we go through adversity, we do have a choice in how we perceive and how we respond and react to that. 